As a gamer who has been looking for good co-op games to enjoy with friends, Once Human is one of the games that I have set my eyes on. It is a survival crafting game combined with looter shooter elements and it kinda clicked a little bit for me. At least for the first few hours that I played it. They released beta testing before and unfortunately I didn't get to try it. But now they released its demo on Steam and we get a chance to look at what the game can offer. This is just a quick first impression video and maybe some thoughts on the current state of the game so please do keep that in mind. Also, don't forget that this is a demo for now, so if there are bugs, glitches, or any complications that you may notice, it is subject to change. Well, hopefully at least. Once Human is made by NetEase. Personally, I don't enjoy their past projects or games, but I am willing to give this game the benefit of a doubt. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Oh no, it's actually dropping frames. Okay, be right back. Right off the bat, I didn't really have the best impression since when I first logged in, it was lag spiking, uh, loading was taking forever, but I chalked it to me probably having a shit PC and shit internet, so your experience may be different. We get cutscenes of the lore of this universe, a story if you may, and I really didn't pay much attention to it because I was just more focused on trying to get some gameplay in, and I thought that if I wanted to know the story, I could always just do some research. So after you get in, you get to pick servers, you can pick a PvE oriented server or a PvP oriented one. It's basically similar to Rust or Daisy if you have played that game or at least familiar with it. But the difference with this game is that it has a lot of PvE stuff to enjoy besides just building mega bases and random NPC murdering, which I will talk about in a bit. So you get your typical create your character bit and a quick intro mission just to give you a tutorial on the basics. And after that, you get deployed to the world where you are, you know, with other players. The map is massive, by the way. The game will give you missions to follow, and it is pretty convenient considering it makes your progression a little bit more linear, rather than just you just doing random stuff and not really knowing what's next. Which is fine, if that's what you're into. Movement seems okay. It's not the best that I have played with, but nothing to be mad about. Gunplay and just basic combat overall. It seems simple, but it feels satisfying for some reason. The best thing that I have noticed in this game is that it pretty much addressed a lot of issues that I have with some of the survival crafting games that I played, like traveling. While I do love big maps and more exploration to do, I cannot be asked walking for more than 30 minutes just to loot a little bit and then walk another 30 minutes just to go back to my base. What they did is that they have teleportation devices for a lot of the POIs which you can use and very early into the game they give you a free vehicle so traveling doesn't become much of an issue. Like I said earlier, they have tasks or missions that help you progress throughout the game. But other than that, they have journey steps, which is what they call this side quest type things, where you get to unlock your technology tree, just so you get exposed to the other things the game features, like cooking, crafting your own weapons, farming, building, and of course, you know, the, basically the basics of survival crafting games. For crafting... Their crafting system seems daunting at first, but you can get the hang of it pretty quick. They use the technology tree system where you level up and unlock tech trees, but so far it doesn't seem much of a grind since there's a lot of things to do to get points such as seasonal activities and various world events that you can do while exploring. But it is the early game, so it's too soon to say if it actually gets too grindy on the later parts of the game. What I love the most is that crafting ammo for your weapons seems cheap 
so you can have a lot of stock ammo for a minimal amount of effort. Now for building. The first thing that clicked with me is that you don't have to craft the pieces or the parts of the house, which all survival crafting games should have anyway. I hate it if, you know, when the game requires you to craft your walls or your foundations piece by piece, that just irks me to some degree. What they also have is that they have a builder mode where you can pan out to position your pieces in a more convenient way. And that is a big plus. I also forgot to mention that they put radio on your bike and the music and the channels are actual bangers. It reminds me of GTA radios, you know? Oh, hello. Okay, now you're probably wondering what's in it for the PvE players if not for just exploration and NPC mass murdering on the open world. The earliest that you can do that is noteworthy is this raid boss type of activity which you can do with a group maxing out at 4 and a minimum of 2. Since it's a demo, the population is not really buzzing, but there is a matchmaking option, so I'm guessing if the game is launched, it would be easier to queue up. When I did this, I was just lucky enough to have someone who was trying to queue up for it too, so we ended up doing the thing. Hey Vixie, are you doing this? You wanna team up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because apparently you can't do this with, uh, with only one guy, one person. Of course, it was the easiest one, so I didn't really expect much, but was kinda impressed of how it had some sort of mechanics other than just literally mag dumping your weapons on the boss's face. I'm assuming that the harder difficulty that you go, you get more things to do, or maybe they just deal more damage, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out the more we play the game. So far, I am impressed as to what you can do as a PvE player, and there are a lot of other things to mention, but we are unsure if it's part of the demo already, so I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Overall, for first impressions, I would say I am leaning on the positive side. The only reason that I got pissy about it was because I waited for literally half an hour just to get into the servers. But other than that, I had a fun experience. It was also fun to make conversations with randoms, which is a nice change of pace for survival games. And you know how it is. Socializing and just having a chill experience with other people just makes the experience better tenfold. If you haven't heard of this game yet and you're looking for a solid co-op game, you can give Once Human a try. The demo is free and I am not sure if how long we've got until they close the demo, so make sure to give it a go. They plan to release the game next month, and I am so keen to play this game. Well, for PvE servers, of course. I cannot play PvP survival games, man. I, I just can't. I might give it a try though, just to see what it can offer, but I, I, I can't commit to it. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you on the next one.